welcome to another A-Level Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on vectors. A vector can be expressed in a number of ways. The first of these is as a series of numbers in a list or array. This example might be described as a three vector over R. This is because there are three elements in the vector and each of the elements comes from the set of real numbers. A vector can also be expressed as a function. The notation below shows us that we have a vector s, which is a four vector over r. Position zero in the vector maps to 2.4. Position one maps to the value 6.8. Position two maps to the value 4.5. And position three maps to the value 9.2. This can be represented as a dictionary where each of the positions within the vector map to their actual values. One, two and three vectors can also be represented as a geometric point in space. One vectors would be a single point along a single axis. A two vector, like the silver line shown here, shows a point in two dimensional space. A three vector, like the green line shown here, allows us to pinpoint a place in three-dimensional space. A two-vector conveys both magnitude with the length of the line and direction with the way it goes. Larger vectors with more dimensions can convey more spatial information, for example, force or acceleration. We can add two vectors by adding the x and y values separately. You can add vectors of any size as long as they contain the same number of elements. We can also subtract a vector from another vector, which is essentially the same as you can see here, as adding the inverse of that second vector to the first vector. We can also scale a vector by multiplying each value in the vector by the scaling factor. Here you can see a vector that has been scaled by a factor of two. The convex combination of two vectors tells us that any vector that follows this expression will fall on a line that connects the tip of the two vectors. The expression for the convex combination of vectors is alpha u plus beta v, where u and v are each vectors, and alpha and beta add to one and are each greater than or equal to zero. So for instance, if we look at a situation where we're looking at half of vector a here, which is two five, and half of vector b, which is 4, 3, we would come to a vector 3, 4, which, as you can see, is on the dotted line connecting the two vectors. A dot product is an operation that can be performed on two vectors with the same number of elements that results in a scalar value rather than a new vector. The dot product of two vectors can be found by multiplying the items in the corresponding positions in each vector and then adding the results. So the formula for the dot product of two vectors u and v is the first element in vector u multiplied by the first element in vector v plus the second element in vector u times the second element in vector v going on and on until we reach the nth element in vector u times by the nth element in vector v. So to use an example, if a is a vector with two minus one and three as its elements, and b is a vector with three, two, and one as, as its elements, then the dot product of the vectors a and b is a dot b equals two times three, plus minus one times two, plus three times one, which comes to seven. The dot product can be used in calculating the angle between two vectors. This is because the cosine of the angle is equal to the dot product of the two vectors divided by the magnitude of the first vector multiplied by the magnitude of the second vector. You don't actually need to know how to calculate this just to be aware that this is one of the applications that we can use dot product for. That brings us to the end of this video on vectors. Join me again soon when I'll be back with more videos supporting A-level computer science. In the meantime, Use the increasing number of resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.